es de 16.500 para 190. Vía Colombia 5605 Panamá Control, buen día, contacto radar. Continúa ascenso para nivel de vuelo 330, diga, diga altitud final solicitada. Buenos días, contacto radar, inicial 330, solicita nivel final 370, viva Colombia 5605. I Dick Rochford, we just departed Panama City this morning. We're in the climb 11300, climbing 240. And I wanted to take a minute to describe what it is we should be doing in this late model PA46 Mirage to make the climb optimized and within temperature limits for the aircraft. And the, the way to do that is, is to uh, verify first that the temperatures are under control. And by definition, when I say temperatures under control, uh, really in the climb it's going to be all about CHT. And uh, in the climb, that number should start with a three. Uh, nothing more. It should not be 400 or more. We know that in cruise, it should level, a uh, level cruise set up at 70%. That CHT on the number five should be around 380, 380 with normal operation. This particular aircraft is running a little warmer than that. Uh, we knew that, we know that from yesterday, so we're compensating by putting an extra half a gallon of fuel in, and uh, that seems to do the trick. I suspect induction leak, but uh, don't know for sure. We're taking it to maintenance. We'll find out. Um, in the meantime, uh, for the climb, we want to climb at an airspeed uh, simply because as the density altitude of the air changes, the rate of climb will change to accomplish uh, a, an airspeed we can live with. So, having said that, if that airspeed uh, results in a climb of less than 500 feet per minute, we need to lower the airspeed to maintain the 500 feet per minute. And so as we climb and the air gets less dense, that's exactly what we'll do. And that's less efficient, but being up high gives us better true airspeed. And so for fuel preservation over water, that's exactly what we want. Uh, it should be obvious to all that are watching that this flight is over water and therefore uh, we've arranged to have the correct equipment on board. Life jackets, vests, I should say. And we are um, also want uh, to have, of course, a raft on board. Once we get to cruise, we'll set up for 70% power and reevaluate fuel, which looks woefully inadequate. Uh, but that's a double whammy in the climb. We, of course, are burning more fuel than we would be in cruise, and we're going slower over the ground than we would be since we're climbing. Once we get to cruise, set up for cruise at 70%, we'll reevaluate that, and well within uh, the turnaround. Uh, in other words, if we need to turn around, we will, but. Uh, there is no really other option at this point. So we'll be managing that in the proper order. So for the climb, we want a CHT less than 400. Ideally less than 380, since we know that's where it ought to run when we get to cruise and set up for 70% power. And it's around that idea that we manage uh, uh, power mixture, which is still full rich, and uh, climb rate with indicated airspeed. Dick Rochford flies safely. Train off it.